Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Duo campaign. This is episode 19. We pick it up from turn 74 in the spring season of 209. So last episode, we kind of pushed our armies in all sorts of directions as we're, you know, making advances towards the two Emperor's Seed, as well as just cleaning up the rest of the map while we search for our remaining targets for the greatest warrior. Uh, some of these targets are not that easy to get. Uh, Sun Quan's on the field now. She got married off into Liu Yao's faction. Sun Quan's hiding uh, on, in, you know, in his faction on the bench. Yan Bai Hu, we don't know where he is. He's likely in the south. Uh, Lu Bu's headed that way. We're about to find out. Uh, we have Zhang Liao in our faction. Xu Huang is on the bench for Yang Feng's faction. Uh, Gong Sun Zhang won't put himself on the field either. And Ma Teng's just way too far at this point. Uh, and getting a little old. Uh, Zhuge Liang is unfortunately uh, inside uh, Liu Bei's faction. And he's our vassal. So... It might be a little difficult to fight him unless we do some sort of late game betrayal. So maybe that would happen. Uh, we're going to find it out. Uh, Sima Yi is in our faction. So I think the best thing to do with Sima Yi is actually send him out as a spy. Because uh, he's willing to spy and we want to keep him long term. So the best thing to do is to send him out to spy. Let him get summoned into an army. We beat him and then we extract him. Uh, afterward, we can capture him. He has resiliency. There's no way he will die, uh, unlike our other spy, which you know died after a battle with us. Um, Tiger general-wise, Ma Chao is our son-in-law. Can't really touch him, and Huang Gai is not on the field right now either. So, so the ones that we aren't getting are the ones that it's very hard to get. Uh, so we're gonna you know keep that in mind and uh, try to make a push for it. Some of the most exciting things we have right now is that uh, Yuan Shao is, you know, chasing us down with these two armies. So we're going to crush both of those armies and try to execute some of those generals. And at the same time, I want to try to send out Sima Yi if we can. Now the question is, he I, I believe he's usually willing to spy. Ah, but in this case he's not. So scratch what I said. We have to just... Hmm. We just have to summon him onto the field and beat him. And then try to peace out with him or... Basically it has to be some sort of capture and release. We don't wipe out his faction unless someone else wipe out his faction. And then hopefully he comes back to us with, you know, some fondness to us. Because we didn't destroy his faction and then we recruited him. Uh, we released him after capture. That has to be sort of the way to go. We'll set this up. He's still very, very young. So there's no rush. And uh, we're not going to put him in our court. Just because uh, we don't need to. Because we're one of the few factions that has insane amount of satisfaction. Look how much. Plus 245. He's usually very unhappy. You know, you can see from the minus 168 uh, over here. But we can still keep him happy regardless. Uh, so that's totally fine. Um, Alright, so no spying. Uh, we're going to be fighting these in batches. We're going to be fighting them in uh, night battle, one after another. Uh, Yuan Shao's faction is quite strong. Uh, a lot of high tier units. But unfortunately, most of his high tier units are not anti-range. Um, so our... Well, our seed weapon is going to rip through them anyways, but even easier in this case. Uh, since we'll be doing night battle, this army is not going to be able to help. I'd rather send this army into position to wipe out Gong Sun Du and come down from the north. So we're going to just march them over here, and next turn they can start taking these two territories. There's no one in the faction that we need to mind, so we can just wipe them out. And uh, Gan Ning here can get us started in this episode. All right, so we're going to turn on night battle, and it will be a much easier fight for us. So let's jump into it. All righty, and of course, as tradition, it rains. Uh, it is an encampment battle, so that does make things a little easier. Uh, we're going to give ourselves plenty of space. No need to, you know, take them lightly. Uh, it is still a very professional army that we're dealing with. We're going to use this little bump uh, of terrain to give us a little extra range and uh, to make it easier to fire down. 
Uh, we're still going to do fire arrows and fire uh, shots because we're hitting troops, so a little bit of explosion helps. The fire arrow doesn't change anything, doesn't actually change their attack or attack rate. Uh, you have the same exact stat and it just has extra uh, morale damage. Um, so it's why not? And we're not burning anything, so it's, the rain isn't going to really stop us. Um, over here, this is going to be our front line uh, with uh, range block chance plus 35. We'll be running about 80%. Uh, we're using Zhao Yun basically as our front line unit. It's very similar to our spear setup uh, with the you know sp uh, shield wall of the spear guards to tank up the enemy arrows first uh, and have our more vulnerable troops just kind of lagging behind a little bit. And then once the enemy units get up close, I can actually do a little angle here because there's some cavalry in the enemy. And we'll probably do two of these in the center. And then this guy will close up our right flank. Uh, the flank is not entirely secure. There's some gaps and then they can loop back, but it'd be okay. Uh, if any cavalry gets this close, we'll have our cavalry counter charge them. Uh, we'll keep two of the heavies on the left. They're lower level. And the two light sea down cavalry who are very high level will be on the right. Uh, gunning, of course, can start out way in the front to get some hail of arrows to start. We can also get this in the front so they can shoot a little earlier. I predict they're going to try to come this way. So we're going to do that. And then we'll put a fire puddle here for good measures. Uh, they can come back. Uh, gunning would not duel. And Zhao Yun can take any duel he wants, and then he can assist or just shoot arrows from the back. Let's go. I believe they'll come out. Right, yeah. So they're willing to duel Zhao Yun. More than happy to duel Jiang Gong or Xin Ping. Any takers. Let's just start. Not even worried. Yeah, he doesn't have Wisdom of the River. Usually you should check that. You don't really want to jump into a fight where the enemy strategists have wisdom the river and just smash you right from the beginning. All right, we're gonna run up. I know the tower is gonna be shooting us, but the tower isn't very high level. I really want to get a nice spray of. Um, I don't have to kill him because Zhao Yun can duel him right after. Mm, the cavalry is definitely absorbing the attention of our siege weapons which is a little concerning because we're wasting a lot of shots on them and this guy's moving really fast and really well he stopped moving hold on hold on i don't mind shotgunning him to death all right Johnny wins let's see if we can kill him like this uh, he moved. Uh, so we just stopped firing? That's lame. Yeah, we'll take the second duel. And what we can do is we wasted our shot. But maybe we can kill the cavalry on one side. And then we can micro. So we, we were wrong with the prediction. Most of them came on this side. Uh, the good news is most are melee cav. They're great against archers, but guess what? We don't have any archers. All right, we're gonna get some increased mass and charge them. Drawing's gonna win this easily too. He's beating back that group. All right, just get a nice charge on there too. All right, drawing clean win. Stay on that. Now, how do we get out of this mess? Where's our horse? I don't see our horse. Where is our horse? We just executed someone on the spot. Because we had two duels. So we're... Oh, we're very far from our horse. Okay. Um, we still want it. Where is Gunning? He's over chasing. Yep. Alright. They're done. All the cavalry's back. We beat back their cavalry. Drawing's trying to get out of his mess. Ah, we, we pretty much already won the fight. 
they can't move their units close enough to do damage to us. Their crossbows shooting at the one unit where we have a 90% range block chance. Uh, they killed one unit so far. Zhao Yun is mounted yet? Yeah, he is. Okay. So in this case, we just charge out. And uh, we can even choose to kill some of these crossbowmen if we want to. Oh, he seals abilities. So that's a little annoying. Eh, in that case, we just meet up. We'll let our siege weapons do most of the work. We can get multiple battles with these armies on the field. It'll be very nice for us to get experience. And also, we're probably going to be bouncing around off of them. Here. We barely got to use that this game. Let's see if we can get a nice spray here. They're at 111. Now they're at 73. 72. Well, that one damage play from him. Let's beat him back. Let's beat him back. We'll take the win. Like I said, we're happy to fight them again. Alrighty. Alright, we caught Xingping and Jiang Gong. Hmm. They're both very interestingly two um, champions with tons of cutting trait. He is a farmer though. That's a really good um, background. The farmer background. So we might just grab him. He's also very young. He's also their chancellor. So I think we'll employ him. And for him, he's the administrator. We're probably going to employ him and then just dump him. Uh, we basically want to get rid of his uh, administrative job. He has a nice retinue, so we just basically grab him and then fire him. Um, right now, I think we have enough movement to fight that army, so we're going to go with income for this round. And then after we fight him, we'll go for the reset, and then we'll chase, and then we'll chase, and then we'll take. It's kind of nice to bounce around. Um... Let's grab a reform before we get in another fight. We, let's see, do we have a, I don't think we have a particularly clear goal. I mean, tier three forge is nice for items. Um, going up this route, connecting over here for that is also very nice. We got the minus one construction time. We got the shaft industry and then tier five iron mine here, which is nice tier five. Uh, copper mine, tier 5 J, tier 5, um, this is the labor. So these are all nice choices as we don't have a school. Well, tier 4 in is pretty central too. So maybe we go here first and then we go back over here. Or if we get the school, we'll finally go down this way. Um, it's not really impacting the game very much for us uh, reform wise. Most of our income are from battling. Uh, we made about 4K in that fight. So that's pretty much where we're going to be making our money. So we're just going to continue. Uh, I hope they don't run. Because if they run, that would be very bad. Because our movement's used up. Okay, so they are way overconfident. Um, we're going to... I mean, AI think they'll win. They're in encampment. The same situation. This group has even less cavalry. They have, what, four units? Uh, we'll be jumping to this fight. Very similar. Alrighty, uh, not only is it very similar, it's also better weather. Um, it's dry, it's spring weather. So here, uh, same exact map, just because it's so close geographically to where we fought the last fight. So we know we don't really need to micro these guys. Uh, he tanked up some, lost one unit. You know, legit really good against tanking archers. Let's put them out in the front. Run two guys in the back. Run another guy in the flank. They're probably not going to get into the fight. Uh, we're probably going to do the same thing with our cavalry. We're going to spread them out first evenly on both sides. And then we'll send one to the other side to help if we need to. Get that going. Get that shot up. Get that duel up. Refuse dueling here. Pop that down. Um, the enemy cavalry from what we saw in the last fight went this route. So we might, you know, plan for that a little bit. See if the AI take the same approach. And other than that, nothing else to do. Watch them come out to die. And let's see if 
Yuan Shao wants to duel. Yuan Shao doesn't want to do, but she does. Happy to duel. All right, he also doesn't have with him River, so that's not going to do much. She has tenacity of steel. It's good, but it's not going to change the game. We can play, try to run up, take a few shots, get a really nice volley into that door area. Let's see if we can do that before some unit like disrupts us. Okay, that's not bad. We just had to fire something with a cavalry right next to us. Uh, we can roar and then just head out back to the fire puddle here. Seems like the AI are pulling this way again, which is great because we kind of plan for that. Drawian's winning again. Piece of cake. All right, since we're surrounded by units, oh, he turned off our abilities. That's fine. She ran off. That's pretty nice. Drawian's very good at, um, you know, helping us capture generals in a sense. Because they tend to not get executed or not killed during that duel. And he wins his duels, you know. Alright, let us get on our horse. Joyant, come on. Horse? Horse? No? Horse? He's very particular about which side he has to get on from. Alright, crossbow. All right, let's check out the cavalry situation. Did that we actually, uh, we misplaced it a little bit. Yeah, we misplaced it a little bit. Let's get another shot over here. Let's pull him back. No need to get fancy with formations in this situation. All right, we're just gonna light up the flame. Roar. Get out. Kill the archers or something. Here, here, here. Kill the archers. Trying to hunt down this archer group. No issues. Right, that archer group is actually routing, so we might go after this group. Focus on the infantry. We got you guys. Ah, oh, they routed. Okay, we'll pull back. Stay on that. They routed. I mean, I would love for them to come closer. Our camp crushers have nothing to really kill. He's unbreakable. Draw in, start getting him. We'll take him down notch two. There we go. We don't need the continuous debuff. Not right now. Draw in should be fine with his uh, blue blade. Blue blade is not a lot of damage, but takes away a lot of his armor. As a matter of fact, he has zero right now because the Wisdom of the River is still active. I mean, he's down to bronze items. Okay, so he's at 35%. So he has 70% armor normally. I wonder which one gets applied first. Whether the minus 20% gets applied on top of the... Yeah, it does. So the blue blade apl applies half first. And then he loses 20% on top of that. This is the hack and slash battle. Come on, knock him off. Drawing, you got this. There we go. Victory. Alrighty. We caught her. Hmm, that's not a bad armor. It's pretty good for administrators, but let's see. 
minus 5% construction cost architect. We're not executing him. As much as we hate him, we have the policy, so we'll release. And for her, the armor is quite nice, but um, yeah, we're going to be very nice here. All right, we want movement back because we have actually quite a bit of option here. So, ooh, level 9, Chenggong. Definitely been hanging out with Liu Bu since the beginning. So, let's see. We can get extra 25% range damage, which doesn't apply to siege weapons, which is not that great. Um, but it does provide 8 cunning. So, there's that. Ignore force penalties is not bad, though, because... Uh, it's not often we get our siege weapon in there, but sometime we do. Hmm. We're going to go with this one first. And then next level, we might grab that and pulley that just for maximum amount of cunning. <laughs> we have Huang Zhong's bow. Um, Zhao Yun here. All oh, right, he has no items. Um, hmm. This is a really nice one, but we haven't really... This is not that great. We're going to give it to him. Ooh, great book. Let's do this. When did we get another yellow rock book? Guojia... Yeah, he could use that book, actually. His item actually doesn't apply anything. Guojia, where are you? This doesn't provide any faction-wide bonuses, but this does. 5% income. Um, so that's pretty good. Yeah, we don't need that set bonus. Alright, so that's solid for him. Zhao Yun's level up. Only level 7. We probably get patience, just to increase capture rate. Um... Yeah, nothing else really. I mean, there's other good ones, like intensity is pretty good. These are pretty good too, but this play help us the most. Also gives him a little extra health. All right, we got full movement. Um, we're probably going to bounce off of him again. Uh, just going to be a delegate battle this time, I believe. Just because there's really no reason to fight this at this point. <laughs> this time she's willing to work for us. Yeah, we could take her just to get the armor. Oh, she has a weapon too. Alright. So it's another one of those fire situations. Since it's already tired, we're gonna reset again. Bounce right back into him. And this is gonna be a delegate situation as, as well. Did all the hard work already. Um, we have enough movement, so I think we'll get a little bit extra money. And we're going to use the rest of our movement to capture the Iron Mine. Which we don't have to do so very cleanly, because we can move right away. Uh, by move right at me uh, right away I mean like we have a turn to rest up it will all heal up and then we can move right away right because move right away doesn't make a lot of sense all right we got all those done we got a couple guys who we recruited just to fire so we're gonna get that settled uh, he is not getting fired he is actually gonna be a future assignment character agriculture development is quite nice uh, he will get fired right away she will get fired after she turns over her gear And let's check their marriage situation before we officially fire them. Okay, no important marriages. They're just going to go free up a little bit of our salary. Release. I believe she's someone's wife. I don't remember who, but we can check her past. Zhang Lu's wife? No, no way. Maybe. All 
I mean, we can spend a thousand to find out. No, 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 her. High Empire. Eh, we're not out west yet. I don't really need to have John Wu's wife. Wow, tier, t uh, tier 5. But the wrong version. We need the right reform to convert it. Um, I mean, we'll take it. It's a perfectly great building for us to have. Let's look at our other army. This one is just farming rebels here. Literally pretty much every turn. And we have an extra build. Let's see. We don't have spice. So I guess we're just upgraded this. We definitely have the money. After four battles, we made about, I think, 12k out of those four battles. That's pretty nice. This western group, I think we're finally going to get into the enemy territory. We can go all the way up to here, which is pretty nice. We'll fight them next turn. There we go. And we can finally get on our way to the west. Uh, John Wu is right here. Can we see his relationship? Maybe, okay, hold on. Maybe we can see his uh, family tree. He is a faction leader. Now we can check the wife situation here. Nope, not his wife. Not interested at all then. Um, yeah, most of our other armies has moved already, so there's not much to do there. Uh, Bianchal was one of our bigger battles. In terms of building, everything is building quite nicely. That is fine. Chen, we might eventually give up, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we got the next tier. We're going to do it. That's what we basically got our reform for. So we can upgrade these to tier 4. And we have inns in like almost all our commanderies. So. This fishing port eventually will sell it to Liu Bei. And everything else. Okay. We need to convert. This is a... We got the bandit version, so we definitely want to convert. Um, we could also just trade it over because the fact that it's bandit version is actually giving us nothing. We can trade it over to uh, Tal Tal and maybe for the copper mine if that's possible. Mm, might not be just because uh, we're not bordering that. Let's see. What can we get from him? Ah, uh, we can get nothing. Well, I mean, he hates us. A little bit. Um, yeah, we'll keep the farmland for now. We'll convert it. It's not a not that big of a hassle. Alright, this is a nice trade port. Um, this eventually will give up. Um, I figure we probably give this to whatever faction we ended up propping up here. We might just put the High Empire all the way over here, but whoever else, like we have, uh, if we look here, we have, um, it's better to check here actually. We have her, yeah, Huang Yumin, who is Gong Sun Zan's wife. So if she's carrying a kid, or the kid followed her after we wipe out the faction, we can set him up in this corner, and then by giving them a trade port, we can actually trade with them uh, because of the sea route. So. That might be an option we keep open. Um, spy wise, it's really sad to see that Smiley can't be a spy. Over here. Yeah, everyone's super happy in this faction, including this guy. Hmm. We're probably just going to empower trade. That's like the best value we can get out of this. She's just going to stay put. Uh, we might use some points to build some undercover. Just to balance out the two points a little bit. Um, so he is also going to be a deep cover for the future. Um, we need to know where he is. Right, he's not on the field. That's the problem. And they're very poorly. Like they have, what, Xingdu? Probably that's the only place they have. Oh, he's very mad. He's going to leave. This spy's going to leave. He's leading an army in Sindul. 
Where is his army? Oh, 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 he's right here. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, I mean, if we kill them, they, they got to summon themselves eventually. Let's hope. Mm, Cao Cao's getting very strong. It's a little troublesome. Yeah, but other than that, I, gu I guess we can hire some more of these, but we have them on the ropes already, so I don't think we need to. Okay, everything else is pretty good. We're just going to enter. Okay, so our army that was chasing Zhou Yu's army um, on the march got sandwiched by now Zhou Yu and Sun Ce's army. So this was the situation we were kind of worried about last episode because we got trapped inside their zone and had to like put ourselves on march just to try to get close to hit that army. Um, now they're really teaming up against us and that could be a lot of trouble. Uh, we fought worse odds. It's just the fact that their generals are really good. That's a little concerning. Han Dong? Okay. Did Han Dong get a unique background? Because he... Oh, loyal mercenary. He did. So that's nice. That's nice. Um, you find abrasive advisor. Okay. So these are all historically a little relevant. Lady Yen. Okay, that's fine. Uh, he still that's that's our that's our ex-wife. If you guys are noticing here, um, mm, what's the terrain like? Got to figure that out. Oh, it's very flat. No trees. Uh, it might not be flat, but definitely no trees. That's interesting. Let's go. Alrighty, so we're loaded up in here. It's a little foggy, which is okay. Um, their main force is coming from here. Uh, the main army that we're fighting, the army that challenged us, is actually very weak. They were mustering, so they are not fully healed. This is the force that's fully healed, three stack, full army. So we need to fight this group, mostly. Um, we can't really greatly deploy everything because they don't have it. So we have to kind of stick in our zone, even though they have greatly deployment available for them. Or we could do something really risky and just like deploy our siege weapon like in a different spot. Like maybe here because the terrain's a little bit higher here compared to where they're entering. Because we're beyond the low ground firing at them. And that's not that great for the crossboats. So what we could do is set up something like this. Where we force them to come here to fight us in a sense change the change the angle of the attack right this army we can kind of ignore for the most part and just set it up so that this army comes approach us from this way and we can even we can even angle it a little bit to capture a little bit of the potential attack from that side kind of corner hog in a kind of kind of sense i kind of like that i think that that's what we're going to do we're going to do this and then these guys will be right here we're gonna put them right here and these guys will just run right just run over and we'll leave this thing here to shoot down at them as they come over we can even do the corner and then we'll see if we can stop any cavalry from approaching us and the fire can just be here I guess it doesn't really matter all right, we'll run them over. And the most important thing is get them set up. So if we cover this way, that'd be everything. Cover all three. Yeah, that definitely covers the whole front. We want these to be one over there. Ah, wrong one. <laughs> 50-50 chance. And then we'll spear wall those. This guy will cover this part. And they'll be right behind. Charge out afterward. Now we're on march, so we're 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 tired. Oh, we're gonna be moving super slowly. Oh gosh. It's okay. Good thing we're we're kinda far back. We should be okay. Any willing duelist? Just wondering. Doesn't want to duel. What about you? Same thing. Well, we don't really want you to duel either. Mm, 
Uh, actually, you guys are safe here because we're covering this part too. Alright, we just need everyone to get into position and we should be fine. That tower by itself should whittle down most of them. But they might try to meet up first. I don't know what they're going to do. They have some towers over there, but they have no siege weapons, so they should definitely be coming over. They're taking a pretty wide angle. A little worried about that. We might put this guy... We will put th this group here. We'll put this guy actually over here. Alright, they're in position. Hmm. Kind of want to put them out a little bit more. Alright, there's no archer in that group. I just realized. Oh, well, a little bit. 25 archer militia. So maybe we don't need to go in that formation. We can just cover up this gap. They're here to offer to the archers. And they can charge out from this gap. Yeah, we have a pretty nice defense here. Actually, we can hold fire until they get close enough where we can pound most of the units together. It might even do a little manual action. Haven't done this very much this campaign. Cheat out a few shots, you know, for extra range. Alright, now you guys are on your own. They're searching. I think this group didn't see us in the beginning, so they went searching for where we might be. But we're we're just gonna pound down this group, which is the most important one to kill. We might send him in. All right, the crossboats are starting. Or. Yeah, where's the shots? I don't see it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're really good at tearing up the enemy infantry. Alright, they got mercenary units. They got handmaiden guards. They got like a tiger guard somewhere over here. Great units. Mercenary archers. Alright, when they get closer, I'm going to charge him in. He has a very nice smash attack. Hmm. Our ammo situation doesn't look that hot. I'm going to move him back. Just because I don't think they're charging from this way. They were just searching. Can we pound this zone? Stop hitting these like scattered units. There's such nice stacks over here. Come on, get one volley in. There we go. Burn up all those range units. Alright, Sun Tzu is shooting us with his sister's bow after he married off his sister after taking her bow. Right, we're gonna zigzag. Not gonna hit us with that bow. And our troops got a chance to kind of rest their legs a little bit, <laughs> even though most of them are still very beat coming in from March. But that's why we're not moving, and they're all tired too. Uh, one of the units is. This unit was in March too, so that's fine. It's a fair fight. Alright, we'll take out some of these range units. That's what we're most scared of. Kill off these archers. We won't use smash just yet. If the enemy, you know, melee units surround us. Like now. Like now. We just end them. Alright. Kill these guys. Just charge out of there for a little bit. Alright. Enemy 
cavalry archers we can't do much about. We just have to tank them. I mean, I guess I could send Dan Wei on to him. But these guys are tired. Yeah, they're tanking it. Oh no, they're very smart about who they're targeting. That's a little concerning. Alright, we gotta stop that. Axe is good against shield. We're not gonna let them touch our shield. I'm gonna charge out against that. Pull our front a little bit more forward. Uh, this group, this group, this group. Can I smash? Ah, uh, he missed. Alright, charge across. Charge in here. We should try to get behind them, but right now it might be hard. We might need to take a different route. We might need to come over here first. Great, great. Engage that. Stretch that out here. Yes. Been waiting for that challenge. Their fire arrow took down one of our one of our crossbows. Alright, go hunt down some range units. Our cavalry, let's pull them out over here. One of you go after that. One of you go after that. It's okay, the lower health we get. Actually, no, we're, we're not Shuchu, we're damn weight. We're just damage resist. Yeah, he can't really kill us. He's at 1% melee evasion. Finish him. Bash his head in. Shuchu wins. There we go. Any other takers? We'll fight at this health level. We don't mind. Alright. Help. Sandwich that. Alright. They're not going to be caught. Just charge that. Go charge that. <laughs> Going after our siege weapons. At this point, it doesn't matter. You can destroy our siege weapons. It's not going to do anything. Oh, we got him. We got him. Alright, they won. Chase that down. Chase that down. Alright, she's not unbreakable, so that's fine. Alright, Swin so is beat. Joey's going to be beat very soon. Let's get him. Good luck, Zhou Yu. You might have the health of a sentinel, but you're still a strategist. Alright, 
We have them all routed. It's over. Joey's the last one. Why are you so stubborn? You're unbreakable. That's why you're all so stubborn. There we go. It wasn't too hard. Just had to pick the right place to fight. Uh, we did lose quite a bit of unit, though. Heroic victory. Well deserved. Alrighty. <laughs> Joe, you falling down on the side. Alright, this is an end turn fight. Um, so we can play just pick up some cash post battle. Ooh, our ex got captured, but we're just going to release her. Handang got captured. We're also going to release him. Ooh, Yu Fan's willing to work for us. He has the drunk trait. Interesting. Going historical on him. Um, I don't really want him though. What revenue does he have? Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't have any of those tiger guards. We're gonna just release, and we'll just take cash. All right, Yang Feng is willing to sign a peace deal with us. You have Xu Huang though, so that's not gonna work. You want to be a vassal? Hold on, twenty point verse. Nah, it's not worth it. We don't want this piece. He has only one little territory. It'd be good if someone else just wipes him out and then, you know, Xu Huang joins the pool. Who knows where he will go to? Yeah, we're just gonna cancel. Reject. Alright, it's nice to see factions offering us peace deals. Oh, we got a we got a weapon production here. What do we get? Heavenly sword. Not bad. Pretty good weapon. Uh Oh, our spy got promoted into government there. <laughs> Incense master. He has four generals total. He can't even fill up his court. Alright, let's grab some free land real quick. Large town. Mm, yeah, we're just going to delegate this. Alright, and they can go destroy Gongsun Duel's faction next turn. Uh, we're not going to slow down. We're going to go towards Yuzhou. Um Let's go take a peek first. We still have some injured troops, so we might just stay here. Yeah, we'll just stay here. Our goal is to get the horse pasture and keep that. Everything else we can trade away. Um, we're gonna still stay here. I don't know what faction are we gonna either just give all these over to the high empire, which is okay. Um, I guess we don't have to prop up another vassal state over here. We can also very quickly prop up Samayi here, beat him to get him off our list, but then we can't really keep him. Um, but yeah, it might not be the best decision. Like, we want to put Samayi somewhere dangerous so that, like, we don't have to wipe out his faction. I don't know. It's hard to keep Samayi and also get him off our list. That's the thing. Enable shield wall. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, still debating. He might get the same treatment. Our daughter comes of age in six years. We marry her to someone twice her age in Samayi, and he becomes family, and then we can just forgive him. That's basically what we did with him. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe he's too much of a treasure, and the bonus is just not worth it for us to just get him killed. What is going on here? Um... I think eventually she's just going to stay a court character. So this is very useful. We gave her all the... Uh, she was administrator, but we took her off to give an opening for a potential Samayi move. So she's here right now. Well, I mean, regardless, we can give her this trait here. Pump off this item for now.
right. That's fine. It's totally fine. All right. This is the most interesting army. So I thought we could take that last turn. But we couldn't. So now we're kind of wasting a movement. And I want to go get to her as quickly as possible. We're not at war with uh, Liu Yao right now. But we can very easily fix that. There we go. Okay. So he's asking... He's asking help. Wait, our spy got caught? Huh. Interesting. Oh, he liberated some people. <laughs> they didn't come to his aid. That's what happened. Alright, so... We don't want to take the fishing port, basically. That will eat up our movement. We're going to attack and then cancel. We're going to break siege. Hop into the river. Probably march. And, and we're going for her. Can we land here? This this is the only place we can land? Then I guess we just go as far as we can on water. But can they beat us in a delegate on water? That's the other question. Yeah, I feel confident in our delegate value here. There we go. We're on land. We can reach her next turn. So Sun Tzu coming right up. Uh, Sun Ren coming right up. Sun Tzu is right here. He's looking at him. This army is the one we were going for. We're going to take them off the map. Uh, we don't need to fight this scrappy army again. Ready to beat it. Caught you again, huh? Should we welcome our ex-wife back into the faction? She's got some nice units. Nah, I don't want to see our ex-wife again. Del is not going to be happy about that, you know? Um, do we want more movement? Not really. Because we don't want to kill off his city, so we have to leave him alone. We're hoping he recruits more people. We'll take this army off the map. That's essential. Uh... Right, I don't need to go anywhere. There's no rush. I mean, there's a rebellion here. They can't take the regional city. So it's not really a concern. We have rebellion here. Alright, we finally made it out here. Alright, who is in this army? Zhang Ji. Wang Lei. Okay, they... Oh, he has the Sovereign Blade. They own the Weapon Craftsman for a long time. That's why they have all these good weapons. So we attack him. He's going to run. No, he didn't run. Okay, why is our delegate value so bad? Oh, they drew out the city garrison. They're allies with Matone, it seems. Alright, we, we fight them together. Um, I'll fight and cut it out. It's going to be a pretty boring fight. So, see you guys at the end. Alrighty. Beat them back and we try to kill as much as, as much as the garrison as possible. Execute for weapon. Uh, we'll just get income. We're going to end our movement on this county anyways. Right, now it's super simple. There's only 82 left. Alright, now we're making some inroads to the west. Gotta get our emperor seat down. Cao Cao is 
doing amazing out west too, so a little scary. Mm, let's deal with this southern force first. We still have a contract against them, so we want to fight this. And we can we reach? Yes, we can. Perfect. So we want to just delegate this for a win. It's not a big deal. They do have one really good unit, but other than that, everything is pretty trash. So apparently, you know, we have Camp Crushers. They're not really good delegate value units. As you can see, most of them got cr creamed. Uh, they weren't full health, but, you know, not doing so hot here. Um... Agent. I don't think they're bandits, so we're just gonna release both. We're gonna maintain momentum for sure with this fight. Alright, we're gonna kick them off the field. Get a little bit more fame and fortune. Caught all three. We'll release all three. Alright, maintain a little bit more momentum. In case we get stuck in some forest terrain. And want to take the Toolmaker, which is their capital. I think they die after this. And then we can finish our contract. Oh no, they don't. Wait, they, wait, wait, hold on. But we'll take it. This isn't our, um, this isn't our target town. This is a different Zhu. Um, we'll occupy. I'm gonna heal here. Right, this is one faction. The faction we're fighting and we have a target against is actually here. This Toolmakers is the last place. Alright, we gotta go down there to end our contract. But we probably have to wipe him out first just to be safe. It's okay. We can make our contract go a little longer and get paid in items. Could be gold, you know, at this tier. Over here. This is just a simple delegate. Alright. And that's probably going to end our episode here. Uh, not a very long in terms of how many turns we took, but lots of fighting. Um, the army down south is just going to clean up a little bit here. We're going to give these land over to the Han Empire uh, as usual. We'll slowly convince them to be our best friend, given how much territory we give them. There is an incursion here, which is a little concerning. Um, one option, obviously, is that Lu Bu can take down Xingdu, uh, get the head checked, and then we'll summon him right back. And then we'll put him... You know, the tea house probably can be lost. We'll put him in the armor craftsman. He can one man these armies. Uh, they're coming through the high empire territory, which is a little hard for us to stop. But, you know, we'll figure out a way. Uh, that army won't come over. That army will just keep going down south. Uh, Zhangke is somewhere where we want to hold on to ourselves. We'll probably try to work out a trade or something to get Liu Shan away from uh, this county here. But we, we want it. Um. Do they want a peace? No. Okay. Worth a chance. Just to check. Um, but other than that, uh, the north is pretty much all settled. We'll be wrapping up with Gongsun Du's uh, faction next episode. And if we look at the ownership, we're going to keep Gongsun Zan alive uh, so that he can summon himself. Or, you know, if he's just so stubborn, then maybe we will wipe out his faction, let him go to some other faction and come out on the map at that point. Uh, but we'll be wrapping up with him very shortly, and then we'll be going down and taking down Yuan Shao over here. Uh, elsewhere, uh, this army situation here, we'll just continue to spy on Sun Ce. Hopefully he summons his little brother onto the field. Uh, it's not a guarantee, but we're hoping for that. And we will take down Sun Ce over here. We want to take everything here, but that's going to take time. And over here, we're just going to slowly go towards their capital. And that's pretty much it. We'll probably wipe out Zhang Lu along the way. There's no point to keep him alive in Hanzhong. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we're advancing towards the ultimate end as we pick up heads along the way. Uh, small hiccups about to come, but that's fine. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode and see you all next time. Bye!